From this video about La Paz, you will find new interesting stuff about the city, including a short history and also details about its main tourist attractions. La Paz, located in western Bolivia, is a must-travel destination for anybody who plans a trip to Latin America. With an altitude of 3,640 meters above sea level, it is the highest administrative capital in the world. The city is situated in a valley surrounded by the towering Andes Mountains, offering breathtaking views at every turn. Located in west-central Bolivia, 68 km southeast of Lake Titicaca, is set in a canyon created by the Choqueapu River. La Paz has a subtropical highland climate, which means it has cool to cold temperatures throughout the year with distinct wet and dry seasons. July is the coldest month in La Paz, with an average high temperature of 14 degrees Celsius and an average low temperature of minus 4 degrees Celsius. January is the warmest month with an average high temperature of 16 degrees Celsius and an average low temperature of 3 degrees Celsius. La Paz experiences a rainy season from December to March, with January being the wettest month. During this time, the city can experience heavy rain and occasional thunderstorms. The dry season, which lasts from May to August, is characterized by clear skies and cool temperatures. It is important to note that the weather in La Paz can vary greatly depending on the time of day and the elevation of the specific area you are in. Due to the city's high altitude and unique topography, it is not uncommon to experience sudden changes in weather and temperature throughout the day. It is recommended to bring warm clothing, even during the summer months, and to be prepared for varying weather conditions. One of the things that makes La Paz unique is its vibrant culture and history. The city has a rich blend of indigenous, colonial and modern influences, which is evident in its architecture, food, music and art. Visitors can explore the many museums, markets and galleries to learn about the city's past and present. Another feature that sets La Paz apart is its cable car system, known as the Mi Teleferico. This network of gondolas provides an efficient and scenic way to travel around the city, with stunning views of the surrounding mountains and the sprawling metropolis below. In 2014, it was already considered to be the longest aerial cable car system in the world, but is intended to reach a length of 33.8 kilometers with 11 lines and 30 stations. La Paz is also a hub for adventure tourism, with opportunities for hiking, mountain biking and exploring the nearby salt flats and Lake Titicaca. And for those interested in spiritual and mystical experiences, the city is home to a variety of shamanic and indigenous healing practices. La Paz was founded on the 20th of October 1548 by the Spanish conquistador Captain Alonso de Mendoza at the site of the Inca settlement of Laja. The full name of the city was originally Nuestra Señora de la Paz, meaning Our Lady of Peace, in commemoration of the restoration of peace following the insurrection of Gonzalo Pizarro and fellow conquistadors against the first Viceroy of Peru. La Paz was under Spanish colonial rule as part of the Viceroyalty of the Rio de la Plata, before Bolivia gained independence. On the 16th of July 1809, the Bolivian patriot Pedro Domingo Murillo ignited a revolution for independence, marking the beginning of the Spanish-American Wars of Independence, which gained the freedom of South American states in 1821. Now, let's talk about the best tourist spots you will find here. Plaza Murillo is a historic square in the heart of La Paz that features several important buildings, including the Presidential Palace and the Cathedral of La Paz. The Presidential Palace, also known as the Palacio Quemado or Burnt Palace, was the official residence of the President of Bolivia from 1853 to 2018. It is a grand colonial-style building located in the city center. 
The La Paz Cathedral is located in Murillo Square and was completed in 1692 after 70 years of construction. In 1831 it was decided to demolish it due to the collapse of its presbytery and several cracks that threatened its collapse. The construction of the current cathedral began in 1835 and it was inaugurated in 1925. San Francisco Church is a 16th century church that is one of the oldest and most beautiful in La Paz. It features intricate colonial era architecture and a baroque style facade. The building was built between 1743 and 1772, but its tower was built in the end of the 19th century. Another colonial era church, the Iglesia de la Merced, is worth visiting. Calle Jaén is a charming street, home to several well-preserved colonial era buildings that are now housed museums, galleries and restaurants. National Museum of Archaeology houses a collection of artifacts from Bolivia's ancient civilizations, including the Tiwanaku and Inca cultures. It has more than 50,000 archaeological items, including card sculptures as well as ceramic and painted objects in stone and metal. Another interesting museum is Museo de la Coca. This museum explores the cultural significance of coca leaves in Bolivia, including their use in traditional medicine and religious ceremonies. Museo de Textiles Andinos Bolivianos is a museum that features a collection of traditional Bolivian textiles, including intricate wavings and colorful clothing. Witches Market is a colorful market located in the heart of La Paz known for its traditional herbal remedies and other offerings used in indigenous rituals and ceremonies. Mercado Rodriguez is a traditional indoor market and a great place to sample local foods and purchase souvenirs. Mirador Kilikili is an observation deck that offers stunning views of the city of La Paz and the surrounding mountains. It is located in the city's El Alto district and is a popular spot for tourists and locals alike. Spokachi neighborhood is one of the most popular areas in La Paz for dining, shopping and nightlife. Bolivia's largest stadium, Estadio Hernando Siles, is located in La Paz. It has a capacity of over 41,000 seats and is located in the Miraflores borough of La Paz at an altitude of 3,637 meters making it one of the highest professional stadiums in the world. Cholita wrestling is a unique form of wrestling and a popular cultural attraction in La Paz, featuring women dressed in traditional clothing. Valle de la Luna is another important tourist attraction. Although technically not in La Paz itself, this otherworldly landscape is located just outside the city and is a must visit for those interested in unique natural formations. The area is known for its unusual rock formations that have been eroded over time by wind and water. Overall, La Paz is a fascinating and unique city that offers a wide range of experiences for visitors to explore and enjoy. I hope you enjoyed our video. If you know other interesting places in La Paz that I forgot to mention, please write about them in a comment below. And remember that you can help our channel to grow by just pressing the like button and by sharing this video with your friends.